consumer campaigner Martin Lewis has dropped a defamation lawsuit against social media company Facebook over a series of ads that ran on its platform falsely claiming he backed several investment schemes. The money-saving expert website founder claimed fake endorsements had caused him reputational damage. He has agreed to drop the case after Facebook promised to introduce a scam ads reporting button. In addition, Facebook will donate £3 million to a new citizen's advice project. Well, we can talk to Martin Lewis, who joins us now from central London. Thank you very much for joining us. So ads were being put out in your name, and obviously it was making you quite angry, so you took action. Yeah, there'd been over a thousand ads in a year with my name and face on for things like Bitcoin Code or Bitcoin Trader. Nothing to do with Bitcoins, just pure scams. The majority then were on Facebook, which is why I launched this action. And of course, I don't do ads. So any ad with my name or face in is a lie and a scam, which is why it was so frustrating that they kept being republished when pretty much if it's got me in it, it's a scam. That's why I took the case. And I set out three things on the day I launched the case in this cap campaigning defamation lawsuit. I promised from the, the start, if I won anything, it would go to charity. Number one, I wanted to see real tangible change to the processes about how scam ads are policed. And we now have the new scam ad reporting button unique to the UK. It won't be anywhere else in the world. You press that button, anyone can do it. You report why it's a scam ad and it goes to a new direct dedicated team on Facebook. Again, only one in the world in the UK on the back of this case. Number two, I wanted to see some form of help to the victims of scams, which is why we're setting up Citizens Advice Scam Action. Facebook are donating £3 million as a result of this lawsuit, way more than I'd have ever won in court for defamation. In fact, way more than the biggest ever court payout for a, a, a defamation that there is. That will be starting in May and it will help give one-on-one -on -one help to victims, one-on-one -on -one help to people who are worried about is this a scam and also look at preventative work across the industry. Uh, I also wanted my cost too, which I got. So uh, I'm pretty pleased today. This is far better than I could have done going to court. And I think this will be a real sea change in the scam advertising landscape. It should mean the funnel of adverts from these people who often aren't based in the UK. We're closing it down. We're shutting them down one by one. Next stop, Google. Yeah, I was going to ask you, I mean, you've described it as a sea change. Um, this scam ad button that no, means I can hear you again. I can oh hear good you again. good hi um so the scam ad reporting button then it'll go direct um if somebody triggers it to a dedicated team at facebook what would then happen i mean is it do you think it is going to be a swift response to get things pulled Well, I hope so. That won't be launching for to three months' time. Remember, what happens at the moment with scam ads is loads of people with, on my scam ads report them to me. Well, I can't take them down, and they write in the comments that it's a scam ad. So what will happen in future is you'll report directly on the advert. Of course, one scam ad report may not trigger it being taken down because it could be vexatious, but certainly the mass of reports that we get... Um, you imagine those going through to a specific dedicated team at Facebook whose only job is to deal with scam ads. And we hope the process will be swifter and smoother. I should also say Facebook are also proactively blocking scam ads when they know about them. I've seen those processes but had to sign a confidentiality form because I can't tell the scammers mm. what their exact processes are. So first step, proactive blocking. Second step, if they do get through, you'll be able to report on the scam ad button that will go to a specific team. Worth noting, there's loads of these ads on Google and Google served websites and, and apps with me at the moment. And they told me the other day the reason they hadn't blocked them is because the eye was a Cyrillic, a Russian eye, so they hadn't noticed them. This is an ongoing battle between the scammers and the tech companies. So I want to see every site doing proactive reporting, allow social policing where you've missed it. Don't make them fill out, people fill out complicated forms as they do right now on Google saying, have they breached your intellectual property rights? And I also want to see other firms put their hands in their pocket because I'm fed up with these scam ads and I'm not ruling out suing someone else. I don't want to do it. I prefer them to say, OK, we're going to take this as a lesson for all of us. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what I was going to ask you, because obviously you've got this far with Facebook, or it would seem that you've got this far with Facebook because you launched the defamation suit that you have now dropped. So you've mentioned Google. Um, are you having talks or are you thinking you may just go down the legal route?
Well, in the press conference, I, I do not want to sue anybody. This should be about an industry taking responsibility, even if it isn't legally responsible. Let's remember, I'm talking about adverts. Now, you can argue that social media posts are a platform responsible for the individual. These are adverts companies have been paid to publish. And with payment comes a responsibility. So I hope Google will open up. I hope it will make a donation, as I think it should, because Citizens Advice Scam Action, CASA, as we're calling it, is there to prevent scam ads right across the board and to help work with the industry to prevent it. But Google needs to sharpen up its practices too. In the last couple of weeks on Google served ads, remember not just on Google itself, but lots of websites have Google ads on them, lots of apps have Google ads on them. My face yet again, Bitcoin code, Bitcoin trader, give us your money saying, lying that I've invested in this company. And these are criminal scammers based outside the European Union, real people real people have given away their life savings. We had one man who saw 19,000 pounds he gave to these scammers. And when he came and reported it to me and we wanted to help him, he wouldn't allow me to help him because he said I was a scammer. Well, you know what? I have spent my life career trying to help consumers. And when these people think I have scammed them and these huge billion pound international companies do nothing to stop them, it isn't good enough. Facebook are actually now leading the industry. And I hope where they lead, the others will follow, put their hands in their pockets and change their processes. Thank you very much for joining us, Martin Lewis.